Hello and welcome to this Hasselblad X2D Spotlight. I'm Mark Whitney, Hasselblad's Photographer Relations Manager, and I'm here today with Chris Coos, Hasselblad's Global Technical Communications Manager. So Chris, today's Spotlight is going to be on the XED lenses for use with the X-Series cameras, and in particular, three new lenses that we've added to the range. So an XED38, an XED55, and an XED90. And they look a little bit different to the existing uh, yes. lenses in the range. So tell us a little bit more about the differences. So with these three new XCD lenses, uh, we've implemented the new design. And so it's a full metal body. Uh, the rubber uh, focus ring has been removed. We have now full metal control and focus ring, and they've been etched with the Hasselblad logo to make them easier to grip. Okay. The all three lenses also have a push full pull adjustment to switch from autofocus to manual focus or back again. They have a depth of field scale, and also, when you go to manual focus, you have a distance scale. Okay. And the control ring, what sort of settings can that be? So you have a choice to? of operations with this. Obviously, aperture, shutter speed, EV, exposure compensation, uh, or uh, white balance. Okay, so that just provides a nice convenient way of, of changing, like, maybe your favorite setting or Correct. a regularly changed setting makes it nice and convenient. Okay, and uh, all leaf shutters? Yeah, so all leaf shutters, uh, the shutters have been upgraded, but they're one two thousandth of a second, and so the new shutters are more efficient in terms of energy use. Okay, so if we look at the actual focal lengths of the new lenses, so the 38, so where does that sort of sit in the, the, you know, in the range of lenses that Hasselblad have now for the X cameras? So it sits very slightly between the 45p and the 30. Yeah. And what would it be good for, like in a? It's a you know it's a moderate wide angle lens, so it's uh, you know uh, street photography, come uh, landscape type photography. Again, general purpose lens, but obviously it's not a, a super wide like the twenty one. It's that sort of moderate wide angle focal length. Okay, and we've got some sample images here from the the thirty eight millimeter, and then also the fifty five. So a general. Uh, middle of the range? Yes, yeah, so obviously the 55 uh, focal length is very, very close to a, literally a standard lens. Okay, so obviously all three lenses also have that 2.5 aperture. And so effectively as a standard lens with a 2.5 aperture, that really is a general purpose lens. You've got the ability to separate your subject from its background, uh, as well as uh, general photography. Yeah. And we've got some sample images here of uh, images taken with the new XED55 lens. Okay, and then the 90. So we've we've you know we've got an existing uh, XED90 lens. Um, so the obvious difference with this one is it's obviously of the new design with the yes. control ring. Uh, any other technical differences? So, I mean, with all of the lenses, we've tried to. Uh, make them as compact as possible, but also as lightweight as possible. So with the uh, new 90 millimeter lens, we've managed to reduce the, the weight from 619 grams on the original 90 millimeter to around 551 grams. So that's a significant reduction in the weight. Importantly, we've kept the high level of optical quality that all previous XCD lenses have got. And again, we've implemented that here, but still managed to make a smaller, more compact lens. Okay, and the, the shutter um, is, is in up, updated as well? Yes, so the 90 out of the three actually has the ability to go to one four thousandth of a second as its shortest shutter speed. Pre, the other two have a one two thousandth of a second. Yeah, and you already mentioned as well that the aperture on this is now 2.5, yep. whereas the, the original was 3.2. Yeah, and here we have some images taken with the new XED90 lens. Okay, so these three new lenses, um, we've announced them at the same time as the X2D. Does that mean they can only work on that camera? No, obviously these XED lenses will just add to the existing range. And so to use the functions that have been brought in, the new functions like the control ring and so on, each of the previous cameras, so your X1D Mark II, your 907X, etc., they will have to have a firmware update to support that function. Okay, and um, they join 10 existing lenses, yes, I think it is, yes. on the XCD range now. So the widest being a 21 millimeter up until a 135 with the option for the converter. Yeah, um, yeah so quite a varied range of lenses now. Yeah, so uh, obviously from the very start, the XCD lens range, we were building a new uh, range, as it were, right from scratch. 
And so over the last few years, we've added and added to try and give us a wide range of focal lengths, as you say, from the 21, sort of super wide, to your know, uh, 135 with the converter. And then we've added some, you know, the 80 millimeter 1.9 is a fantastic lens in terms of separating your subject from the background. Uh, and bit by bit, we're adding more and more lenses to this range. Yeah, I guess there's something in there for everyone yeah. on different types of photography. Um, there's a, a lens that's hopefully in the range you would like. Okay, and um, there's, uh, as well as the XCD lenses, uh, we have adapters for other right. series of lenses. Um, so we've got the X8 adapter for using the Hasselblad H lenses Correct. on the camera. And then similar to that, we've got the X-H converter 0.8. Um, so we've covered that before as to the differences uh, in different webinars and you can find more information on our website. And then we've got the XV adapter for using V system lenses and also the X pan adapter. Yeah. Obviously, the X-Pan and the X-V, uh, with that, because they, uh, we can't use the leaf shutter in the, in the V-System lenses, you, for both of those sets, you need to use the electronic shutter mode on the camera body. Okay. I think the, gen the general aim of the adapters is just to try and allow as much backwards compatibility Correct. as possible. So, for example, if you're a previous um, v owner system of a, or, yeah, or H camera, yeah. you can utilize the H lenses to a certain degree on the new camera. Correct. Yeah. Okay, and um, we've got this interactive uh, diagram on our website uh, to help show the different fields of views we get with all of the, the Hasselblad lenses. So please go to hasselblad.com to be able to see that. And we've also got uh, sample images from a lot of our lenses in general, uh, so you'll be able to, to view those. So Chris, thank you very much for the, the general overview of the, the now extended XED range of lenses. And um, if you'd like more information on Hasselblad lenses or any Hasselblad products, you can, of course, go to the Hasselblad website at Hasselblad.com. You can subscribe to our newsletter for regular updates. And you can also uh, follow Hasselblad on our social media channels. So thank you very much for joining us today. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Thank you.